everyone, welcome back to Skyrim. Now where we left off. I see you did come back. This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I had it and why I was down there. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun, and vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. Oh. I did, but something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. No. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out? Do you actually believe any of that? Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. It can stay for now, but if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. No. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit.
You are new here, are you not? We have not spoken. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the College. Are we clear? Not all. Some risks must be taken, to be sure. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of Let's us. Let's get indoors. Or a right. cave. Anywhere. Just out of this. I don't want to see you treating any... A moth priest? What an oblivion do you need a moth priest for? Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The moth priests make their home in the White Gold Tower. Sometimes they go out looking for Elder Scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a moth priest in Skyrim right now, doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragonbridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. My pro controller was slow on battery, so I'm gonna let it charge. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. 
Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfeld strutting about. Working hard gives a man reason for drinking hard. Nah, I don't think so. All right then. Another quiet... Ah. So that was a moth priest, then. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop. Just headed south across the Dragon Bridge. Mm-hmm. What now? Shut them off first!
Okay, never mind. Someone there. Debt for the timely rescue. Uh, I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. Thank the Divines for you. Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls. Though in time, it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. It is our sacred duty to study the Elder Scrolls. We read these ancient scrolls of prophecy in order to divine the future, and we use that knowledge to aid the Emperor. Sometimes, we venture out into the world in search of more scrolls for our library at the White Gold Tower. That is the very purpose that first brought me to Skyrim. It is the great spire at the heart of the Imperial City, among the tallest towers in all of Tamriel. The lower floors are home to the Imperial Council, and the Order of Moth Priests occupies the middle floors. The tower suffered damage in the recent war with the Altmeri Dominion, and is not what it once was. I hope one day to see it restored to its former glory. Ambushed by vampires. Certainly wasn't expecting that. Where have you been? Thank the Div- uh, I'm quite all right. These vampires claim they had some purpose in store for me. You do? All right then, enough mysteries. You have an Elder Scroll. Remarkable. 
If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. My trip to Skyrim has become quite the adventure. Ah, my rescuer! It's good to see you again. It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Do you have a moment to talk? Do you have a moment to talk? That 
Moth Priest Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father, and that's saying something. It's not a question of trust, he's just obsessed with the prophecy. And from what I could tell, a thousand extra years of obsession haven't made him any better. I should have found him a hobby. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is, and if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. It had to be one of us, and, well, she's so much more powerful than I am. It just made sense for her to be out here. Anything else? Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... peaceful. Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is... I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. True. But I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. Don't let me... I'll be at the dock whenever you're ready. in here, he must be really concerned. And if he's that concerned, the situation must be pretty bad. Make sense? Yes. These vampires are a new threat, and a truly deadly one. Gunmar and I agree that we're going to need Florentius to help. Gunmar and I have a lot of work to do here, so we were hoping that maybe you could track him down. He's a priest of Arche. Well, he was. It's... it's complicated. He's a little eccentric, but we can trust him, and we can definitely use his skills. Well, that's the thing. We don't know where he is. We haven't seen him in years. I think he had regular contact with the Vigilance, and I know Isran kept track of them. So, maybe you could ask Isran if he knows anything? Just keep in mind that he... Well... Might not like the idea. Well, this isn't exactly a palace, is it? Still, it's sturdy, secure, and seems defensible. I suppose I'd rather be here than most other places in Skyrim. If Isran needs me, it must be pretty bad. I wonder what we're up against here. You just said it. I'll buy whatever you're looking to get rid of.
See you. Oh, great. I like what he's running. It's sort of a random assortment of things. See anything useful? she
God, the volume is just peaking. There was a piece of hair in my microphone. Oh, there she is. I'm ready if you are. Come on, it's just around the side. around this bend. It doesn't look so big from down here. I mean, it is big, but, well, even bigger. Oh, she's invisible.
This leads out to the courtyard. Just head for the door. <clears throat> We've made it to the courtyard. Oh no. What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks... well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. This was my mother's garden. It... Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. strange with the moon dial. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Something strange with the moon dial. Ah, I figured it out. Very clever, Mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. I figured it out. Not needing a day. I already know what the moon is.
there. I don't think we've reached the top yet. I bet there's some kind of secret passage around here. this thing it's a portal I'm not sure about this circle but it's obviously something let's take a look around there has to be something here that tells us where she's gone my mother was meticulous about her research if we can find her notes there might be some hints in there I remember she used to keep a small journal see if you can dig it up Any luck yet? You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems, that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The soul oh, cairn is home I to see. very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. Uh, yo, My yo, mother spent a lot of what? time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. Maybe there is a spell that I think the Doma King actually has that can actually steal souls, but I'm not sure. That circle in the center of the room is it's definitely like some type of portal. Like if I'm reading this right, there's a formula right? here that should give a us safe passage into the soul cairn. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal. A good bit of purified void salts. Ah, oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. Oh. Having trouble finding those ingredients? No. Having trouble finding those ingredients? They shouldn't be that hard to find. Shelves, tables, they should be easy to find. She wouldn't have hidden them. Fragments, what else? They're like void salts. That's where 
fairy chest. White socks, white socks. Oh wait, here we go. Oh yeah, they're in a bowl somewhere. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I... Okay, here goes. that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The Soul Cairn is... well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Not your first choice, I guess? Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. My mother taught me a trick or two. Uh, I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It oh, might yeah. be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but uh, we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Have you made up your mind? Are you sure? You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the Soul Cairn. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I never do anything that could hurt you. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. It worked. It worked. Okay. The sky. What kind of place is this? Look at this place. I can't imagine choosing to come here. My mother must have been terrified. me like this. I was one of Riemann's court wizards. Hmm. 
The clouds, the sky. It's all wrong. Everything's wrong. Where'd you come from? me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! Come back! Perhaps she don't care. Okay. Oh, yep. Dare they cast me from the battle spire? I will make them pay dearly. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? Oh, come on! No, you don't... You, come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. No. I find your choice of words quite interesting, considering that Seran Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. 
I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's Bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Hmm. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? No. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Oh. Serana? This stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known you than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call Just a father! Shut up and yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Oh, Serana, if you'd only open your eyes. The moment your father discovers your Ooh. role in the prophecy, that he needs Excuse your me. blood. You'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us, but we have to stop him, before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. Oh, come on. But for Serana's sake. I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. Oh, great. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. If you want that scroll, the barrier needs to come down.
you still meant souls. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.